All right, let's go ahead and put together our user interface. Let's go to Active Main here. I'm gonna go ahead into the text mode and I'll leave the preview there. Okay, so I'm gonna change a few things here. Instead of constraint layout, I'm just gonna go straight and have a linear layout. It's just much easier at this point. So linear layout as such. Very good, so we have a linear layout. We don't need any of these guys there. Very good, so now it's all empty. And I'm gonna change this to include our linear layout like that. So we have ways in which we can add the body. I'm gonna make, let's go ahead and say orientation. I'm gonna just make this vertical. I'm gonna give a padding, a general one. It's gonna be 18 dp, very good. And now I'm gonna add, first of all, a text view, make a wrap content. This one, I'm gonna add an ID, call this title. Give it a text that will say something like title, text, we haven't created this. Let's go ahead and extract that. This is gonna say self dot gratitude journal as such. Hit enter and you can see right there, very small, but we're gonna change all these things. Let's make the text size to be about 30 SP. Very nice, looks very good. And while I'm here, let's go back to our design here. Click, and I'm gonna change the font family to something different. I'm gonna use, let's see, I'm gonna show more fonts. I'm gonna find Roboto, there we go, bald, like this. I like that, it looks much better, very good. So go back to our text. Here I'm gonna create a relative layout. I'm gonna make match parent, and this is gonna be wrap content like this. Of course, we need to add some sort of ID, even though we're not gonna be using this ID. I'm gonna just call this relative layout and I'm gonna give it a gravity, center, horizontal as such. Okay, you'll see the difference in a second here. All right, so inside here, I'm gonna actually add a card. So just to make sure we have it installed. Layouts, I need, let's find card view. I'm gonna go ahead and install that. Very good, we have that installed and we're gonna go back to our text at this point. And inside here, I'm gonna add our card view. Width, I'm gonna make this match parent and the height is gonna be uh, like 100 dp. And the height is gonna be about 90 dp as such, all right? A few things I'm gonna add here. I'm gonna add elevation to make sure that it's up and has a nice shadow there, I'm gonna give about 12. I'm gonna add card corners, corner radius of about eight dp. So it has very nice round corners there. You'll see in action. So in fact, this one should be actually card elevation, not just elevation, because just elevation is something different. All right, so card elevation, I'm gonna give it a six dp. Very good. But the other thing that I want to make sure to have is to see that shadow below it. You've seen that before. Uh, to do that, now we have to actually use the card, use compact padding to say true in order for us to see that. Now it's hard for us to see it here in the preview, but once we run this app, you will see the difference. And inside of this card here, I'm just gonna put a text view here, wrap, wrap content, I'm gonna say ID, just gonna say something like grateful text. We're not gonna be using that anyway. Layout gravity. I'm gonna say center because I want it to be in the middle of everything. As you can see, it moved right there in the middle, very good. And I'm gonna say text is going to be, let's go ahead and create our own grateful text as that. Go ahead and create fun days. So I'm going to say, what are you grateful for today? Like this. There it is. Looking good. I'm going to add a text size 
of about 19 SP, a little bit bigger there. It looks very good. All right, so now I want to make sure that all of this is actually in the middle. Now remember that all of these, meaning the the text view and the card view and the text inside, it's all inside of our parent linear layout here. So to move all of this below there, I'm going to say gravity, say center like that, right? So it moved all the way down. This is exactly what we want. At this point here, let's go ahead and save this just to, for us to see. I'm going to run. Let's use that one is fine. I'm going to say OK. Hopefully we're going to see something pleasant here. And voila, you can see there it is, right? It looks really, really good. We have here a self gratitude. What are you grateful for today? That looks really good. You can see the shadow that I was telling about, which is added by us when we added this user compact card use compact padding. So that's a little trick here. Very good. So it's looking really good. So next thing here we're going to add is a button because we want to make sure that users can go ahead and get started. Okay. So this button here is going to be outside of our relative layout. I'm going to say button match parent wrap content as such and I'm going to give an ID because we'll need that start button text is going to say we're going to have to create our own get started text as such very good now there it is not very uh, beautiful, but we're going to change a few things here. So I'm going to give a text color, color accent for now. And I'm going to give a background. I'm going to go to Android and I'm going to get transparent because I, want, I don't want to see that hideous background we saw there, the gray hideous background. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and save this real quick and run. All right, so we have get started our button. This is looking really, really, really good. Very good. So we're making very good progress here. In the next video, we'll continue putting together our user interface. All right, I'll see you in a bit.